You're paying for it every time you fly, but this fast track people mover at O'Hare has been parked for more than three years. Now revamped and ready to run, it's years behind schedule, millions over budget. CBS News Meredith Barrick digs into the delays. As many of you know, the ATS construction began to modernize and expand the train in 2017. It's been a long and winding road to get O'Hare's airport transit system back on the tracks. The extended and modernized ATS features upgrades, major upgrades, which include a larger fleet of trains to provide more frequent service, a 2,000 foot extension with an additional station at the multimodal facility where we are today to connect the rental cars and economy lot F. The People Mover will officially begin operating for travelers on Wednesday. It comes after years of delays, which Chicago's Department of Aviation says was caused by several factors, including the pandemic. CBS2 has been following the setback since the fall of 2019 when it was supposed to reopen. It started with a dispute between the Chicago Department of Aviation and contractor Parsons Construction. That resulted in a mediated settlement that established a new completion date for the people mover for November of that year. In July of 2020, CBS2 was told a mechanical issue required the entire ATS fleet to be retrofitted. The city has paid Parsons more than $320 million for the project with revenue generated by rental car fees, airline fees, passenger facility charges collected on most airline tickets at O'Hare and rent paid by rental car companies. In the end, 13 million over budget. From O'Hare, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS2 News.